in it and loving it. I know that's not a rehearsal. And then it's slightly uh, difficult, perhaps, for you to uh, quite get how they're producing some of the sound in the piece. So um, I tend to ask Paul Chivers, who's been uh, working with the students, just to explain this, because it all looks a bit high tech down here. Uh, Paul, just explain how, how all this works. Oh. Just before I explain how it works, let's say hi to all my friends from West Brom, you have to meet the top of the top. And all the dads in the house, including mine. And uh, to explain a little bit about this, um, well, the children are using, uh, we can call them clickers, triggers, uh, let me just show you one here. Little pads, and you can click them, and we've recorded uh, a voice, one of the children has a uh, couple of poems, and it's all broken up so that each of the children here can play a part of the poem. And that's using a technology here called the sound lead, uh, using the triggers and the software called Ableton, and uh, just triggering all the sounds that we recorded. Thank you very much, Paul. Excellent. Now, the music. This has been really much again by Gareth Lynn. This time, please face on poems that were written by a class or an individual from each of the music making schools. That words, of course, just as passionate as music, and it's uh, been fascinating to see what the students have come up with. Uh, the results, by the way, will be projected up on the screen for you to read. Uh, Gareth has given us a 15 minute cantata based on the poems. It's going to be performed by the students and the London Symphony Orchestra, of course. Each school gets to perform its section by itself, but there's also uh, a section for the NFO Youth Choir. Please be sure. Welcome back. Onto the stage. Oh, thank you. Everyone, uh, for the uh, children who turn up eventually, it's time to go to the bar. <laughs> <laughs> um, let me tell you uh, that the students may have brought them on the way to them to, to, uh, to appear. Uh, everyone, by the way, takes part in little thinking choruses. Uh, but we start with Sunny Day, performed by Trial Western School. Uh, a very pertinent poem, by the way, for, uh, for this week, uh, you'll notice. Um, my family will then be performed by Gordon Primary. Happy Days, which is a reggae rendition of Hugh Middleton. And then the Ellison Youth Choir, if, if indeed they haven't all gone home, uh, will then take us to the uh, Richard Cloudy interpretation of two poems, wonderful names these, uh, Sugar Cake Bubbles by Grace Nichols and Pop Along Popcorn. <laughs> by Judith Nichols. Uh, then we have Class of World Parochial School's Haiku as a gentle moment before a rock act. Sending School's E.C.Y. Aha! Uh -huh.